Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about what is AC resistance and DC resistance. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So here, AC resistance in simple words, we can call it as a impedance. That is, the resistance in AC circuits is called impedance. Or we can say that the overall resistance in AC circuits is called impedance. Simply, we can represent it as Z. Here, the overall resistance is nothing but resistance plus inductive reactance plus capacitive reactance. So, the total resistance now it is called as AC resistance or impedance. And coming to this DC resistance, we know that there is no concept of inductive or capacitive reactances in DC circuits. That is, there is no capacitive and inductive reactances in DC circuits. Why? Because here in DC circuits, the frequency is equal to zero. That is, the DC source has no frequency. That is why in uh, DC circuits, we will consider only the resistance offered by the wires and resistors. Therefore, in DC resistance, we will not consider the capacitive or inductive reactances. So we will consider only the resistance offered by the resistor and uh, wires within that uh, circuit. So here we can measure the AC resistance as for inductive load, it is given as Z equal to under the square root of R square plus XL square. For capacitive load, it is given as Z equal to under the square root of R square plus XC square where XL and XC are the reactances of inductor and capacitor respectively. And coming to this DC resistance, we will not consider here the reactances of capacitor or inductor. So simply we can go for the Ohm's law for this DC resistance which is given as R equal to V by I. So when solving that electric circuits for finding the resistance, you are not sure which one should you take into account whether AC or DC resistance. Then, if the current passed is AC, then we have to consider the AC resistance. Else, we have to consider the DC resistance. And the measuring of the overall impedance, nothing but AC resistance is given as when the capacitor and inductive reactances are present in the circuit, then it is given as Z equal to under the square root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. And coming to this DC resistance, simply we can go for the Ohm's law that is R equal to V by I. So like this, we can measure the AC and DC resistance. So here one important point is that XC and uh, XL reactances are also measured in ohms like a, a resistor. So thank you very much for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe to my channel Open Box Education.